Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today we're headed back to the dyno with our project car, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. We're gonna be testing the Goodwin Racing Roadster Sport Super Street single tip exhaust that we recently installed on our project car. And I did a video in which I tested the sound measurements on this car. Check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description below. But today we're talking about performance. We're talking about power. We are going to strap it to the dyno. We are going to compare it to our baseline stock runs. We are then also going to compare the gains to the Gretti Supreme SP Axleback. We ran the Gretti Axleback and then the Gretti Axleback with the midpipe. Again, I will leave the links in the description below or go take a look at the channel, uh, the playlist for the Mazda Miata. You'll have access to all the videos I've done for our project car. And I'm gonna tell you now that you're gonna be surprised by a couple things. So don't skip ahead. So there's some lessons to be learned. If you're considering buying a Goodwin Racing Roadster Sport Super Street exhaust, you're gonna to wanna to know this. I'm surprised and I'm disappointed. We actually lost horsepower, meaning that we're producing less horsepower with the Goodwin Racing exhaust than we were when we did our baseline run. Why don't we just jump into the second pull and see if we gain any additional horsepower. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, really disappointed in this exhaust so far. That was the second pull. We are not gaining any additional horsepower or torque. Actually, in a way, we're losing it. Um, the dyno operator has made a comment that he feels like there's maybe an obstruction uh, with the exhaust, that the tone changes and then he can feel it in doing the pull. So we're gonna figure out what's going on. We're gonna remove the baffle in the axle back exhaust. So for those of you not aware, the Goodwin Racing Roadster Sport Super Street exhaust comes with a baffle. That baffle allows you to adjust the tone of the exhaust, but we're gonna remove the baffle and see if that has any impact on the performance have any impact on the uh, horsepower and torque that
Okay, so that that is exactly what it was. Uh, we are now gaining horsepower. The 90 operator said absolutely. On this third pull, he did notice that he's not feeling that restriction. We are getting additional horsepower. So for those of you interested in getting every horsepower, every torque, every ounce of performance out of your Miata, and you're looking at this exhaust, or maybe you already have one, please note that based on our dyno pulls right here, for you to gain any performance, you should remove the baffle. We're gonna do a fourth pull. So we'll have two pulls on the dyno with the baffle ins inserted, and then we're gonna do two pulls just to make sure that the third pull wasn't a fluke. We're gonna do a fourth pull on this with the baffle removed. What's really positive is that we're gaining throughout the RPMs. And that's different than what we saw with the Gretti Axelback, the Gretti Supreme SP. There is performance to be gained with the Goodwin Racing Roadster Sport Super Street, but you have to remove the baffle. And I think having the baffle included as an option is great. And remember, this is the included baffle. Goodwin Racing also offers the glass pack. So if you're looking to have an exhaust, have the flexibility to make your exhaust mild in tone when you want it to be, very good option to go with the Goodwin Racing. When you want to get the ultimate performance, maybe you're going out for autocross or a track day, take the baffle out. So I like the flexibility. However, one thing that I wanna note here is when you remove the baffle, the tone definitely changes. I haven't tested it as far as decibels, but the tone changes, it is obvious, it is evident. You do get some drone. Uh, especially on the highway, but you get drone where you wouldn't otherwise have it with the baffle. So there's good and bad, right? At least this exhaust offers the flexibility. I am excited to go on to the next step and that is to install the full mid pipe. So that is header back to the axle back. And we have the Goodwin Racing mid pipe ready to install. I'll get that installed. After the install, I'll run some sound measurement tests on that to see how much louder it makes the car and then we're going to strap it on to the dyno we'll go back to the dyno we'll see what additional horsepower what additional performance you can gain from the mid pipe and then we'll compare that to the gretti supreme sp so i hope you found this video informative thank you very much for watching and until next time